Uh, my name is Kit Carlson. We're a group of students here at the University of Idaho, and we're studying some ecosystem exploration, and we're going to talk about Australia today. So the first thing is going to be geography. Australia is loaded, located 40 to 10 degrees south, 110 to 155 degrees east, and it's 327 million square miles and 5.9% of the world's land mass. Did you know? Australia is the sixth largest country in the world. Um, these are the major rivers in Australia. The Murrumbidgee is the longest river in Australia, and it stretches over 2,300 kilometers. Did you know? To prevent clogging, the Murray River must be dredged at the point where it runs into the ocean 24-7, and they have three dredges running. These are the major, major mountains that are located in Australia. They're all located on the east side of Australia in the Great Dividing Range. Did you know? The Great Dividing Range is the third longest land-based range in the world. And these are the four great deserts of Australia. Um, the Great Victoria, Great Sand, and the Gibson are all on the west side of the country. The Simpson, Simpson is on the east side of the country. Did you know? The Great Victoria Desert is the largest desert in Australia, making up 4.5 percent of the of Australia. All right, I'm Randall. We're going to take over large bodies of water, and uh, as you can see here, this is the uh, bigger ones. You got the Indian and Pacific Lakes. And the Gulf Sea is based in the South Australian Gulf. Well, did you know? The hillier is actually colored pink. The scientists really don't know why. They say it possibly because it's 10 times saltier than the ocean and due to some salt loving algae. Uh, population demographics. Australia was, is one country. There's no other countries in it. They have states rather than countries, and its population is just over 22 million people. Did you know? More than 80% of the population in Australia lives within 100 kilometers of the coast. Uh, population demographics. Um, the left one shows the population by state, and the right one shows population by cities. Sydney is the biggest uh, city. New South Wales, largest state. Well, did you know Australia's national parks are managed by the native aboriginals? Hi, my name's Holt. I'm be talking about the lights at night and some ecology. Uh, this just shows the lights at night of Australia, as you can tell. Um, like Randall said, 80% of the population lives around the coast, and this just kind of shows where most of the major cities are. And here's some on ecology. Uh, for the vegetation types, um, there are a few grasslands in Australia, um, the hummock and tussock, and then uh, shrublands include uh, acacia and chenopod. The woodlands also include acacia and eucalyptus. Well, did you know? Only 1% of the untapped geothermal energy potential in Australia could be enough energy for the next 26,000 years. Uh, for the soil types, um, the major rangeland soils are the mollusols, which are grassland soils, the aridosols, which are desert soils, and the entosols, which are younger soils. Um, since Australia is a relatively dry continent, uh, there are a lot of aridosols, especially in the central part of the continent. Did you know that Australia soils are among the most nutrient poor and unproductive in the world? Um, this just shows why um, farming is not a major uh, agricultural pursuit. A lot of grazing on the native plants because they're the only ones that can survive. And for ecological concerns. Hi, my name is David Anderson. Uh, these are the some interesting plants, uh, the striped shrine tree. The picture here shows the seeds, and it is one of the most poisonous plants in Australia. Uh, the seeds and blossoms contain striped shrine, 
the bark contains brucine and other and other poison. And the picture on the right is the grass tree. Uh, the little white things you see are the seeds, which uh, appear after fire. Did you know? The swamp gum, eucalyptus, regnet, reg, regnus, the third tallest, it is the third tallest tree species in the world and the tallest flowering plant, and it grows to heights of 100 meters. Interesting animals, the duck-billed platypus, uh, it is one of only five mammals that lay eggs and it has poisonous spurs on its hind legs. Uh, and the one on the right is the frill neck lizard. Uh, it has a large fold of skin that unfolds to appear more fearsome and it's actually harmless. Did you know? The saltwater crocodile is the largest living reptile species and the largest land dwelling predator. It can exceed 20 feet and 4,000 pounds. Ecological concerns related to rangelands land degradation due to soil erosion, increased numbers of invasive species, and reduced water quality and increased soil salinity. Did you know? Uh, the mimosa pigra is the most invasive weed, and Australia's government uh, management costs $4 billion annually, uh, and it outcompetes the native species and disrupts habitat of native animals. Thank you. Thank you.